Hey, welcome to Vortex Garage. I thought today I would do a quick, kind of easy format video just to catch you up on some of the work we've been doing on our Spitfire. So let's turn around and take a look. All right, so as you can see, our Spitfire is up still on the rotisserie, but we've got it tilted quite a bit. We've been working on trying to get this next floor pan installed. And uh, we have several videos on doing the floor pan installation, the uh, inner sill, inner rocker, outer rocker, all that good stuff. So you can check those out. It's pretty similar here. I think the last thing that we really saw on YouTube in terms of the Spitfire was us putting this A-pillar or A-post lower piece on. And you can tell I haven't even ground down some of the welds for that. But I have gone through and just sort of lightly cleaned up this area in anticipation of getting the floor ready. But most of my focus has been over here. So first off, I'm going to need to rotate this thing so you can see it better. So hang on. And you can see me rotate it. So one of the first big things that we had to do was we ended up cutting away a lot of the outer quarter panel because this entire piece here was pretty much rotted away and, and chopped up and whatnot. So we've kind of gone through and cleaned a lot of this up. This is just a lot of dirt that's kind of stayed in here. What I ended up doing, and I'll attach some pictures uh, from my phone, but basically this whole piece was gone. This piece back here was all rotted away. So we went ahead and cut all that out, put in new pieces, kind of like a puzzle. We did this piece, and then we did a strip that went here that we bent and added this piece here. We did templates for everything. And I went ahead and put this back piece in as well. And I've sort of left this. What I'm eventually going to do is put a lip that matches the uh, inner skin here. But I'm not going to put this lip on until I test fit my quarter panel. So I'm going to leave a little extra piece here. We've kind of mirrored the radius. But if we need to trim any, we've got hopefully excess to trim. Same goes for where we're going to have our seam weld on the bottom. We put some extra material here to trim. Now one piece I just had to knock out this weekend was the... Uh, I had cut to about right here, and I thought this metal was in good shape, but it turned out that it wasn't. So what I ended up doing was going back, cutting a new piece, welding it in. As you can tell, I didn't dress the welds perfectly, and I actually did a lap weld right here because there's a flange behind here. Let me circle around and show you. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a flange right here that that goes on to. So in terms of being able to give it a little extra strength on the weld, A little more strength on the weld and just areas to weld to and this is all going to be covered anyway. Same with these. I just I didn't bother dressing the welds perfectly. But what we do have as a result is a really nice strong piece with all 18 gauge steel and this is ready to be uh, put back together and have the skin put on. Another piece that we worked on was this piece here. This was a big problem on the other side of the car if you remember in our videos we ended up cutting out a lot of this we had videos on how to make the small pieces using the shrinker stretcher. And uh, this is really the base of where the back of the floor attaches. So this needs to be in good shape. Well, we've gone ahead and taken care of that. And that's now ready for the floor to come on along the bottom here. We did a section here. This was luckily in good shape. And then we did a small section there as well. And then I've sort of pre-trimmed this a little bit in anticipation of our floor coming in, uh, just a rough cut. And we'll come back over here and work on tying this in and, and getting it in. But as you can see, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and get our floor piece installed. In fact, I even have it. Have it ready to go. And we'll work on getting that installed. So that's probably what's coming up next is we're gonna go ahead and start fitting the floor trimming it necessary to get it in there and hopefully get it all squared away. Now one thing on the uh, other side, you can kind of see some of the welds I've, I never finished dressing all the way. Um, I figured I'd come back to it at some point. Um, I ended up cutting that one with the anticipation of butt welding everything, but I found that it was very difficult to trim that and get it to butt weld perfectly. So what I'm thinking is, since this is part of the floor, I don't mind the extra strength and I don't think it'll be a problem. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a lap weld and I'll do the lap weld so that I can kind of flange this piece and maybe get the floor to butt up against the lap weld and then weld against that. Not sure. Maybe I'll do the butt weld again, but didn't seem the, it was a pain last time. I'll just put it that way. 
Again, I go back to the whole, I wish I could buy an entire floor section with the tunnel. So uh, Steelcraft, if you've got the tooling, <laughs> I would tell anyone who has to replace their floor pan in their uh, Spitfire to go ahead and do the entire thing. So it would be so much easier to just have the whole thing cut out and do it in one shot. Because lining up with all this stuff, that's pretty easy. Lining up with that, that's a little harder. So let's see what we got. What else do we want to talk about? So the only other thing that I, I have to show you is I did order and received a rear quarter panel from Spitbits. And I was debating whether or not I was just going to uh, get the sections. They do sell sections for the bottom where the rust usually is and certainly was on this car. And there's not really a lot of rot on the top here. This is all solid. However, there is what appears to be crash damage. And this damage here, we've looked at it before in our videos, but it's, it's so heavily creased. And then there's dips and waves in here. This is kind of out a little bit. This probably had tons of Bondo on it. So I think it's just going to be easier to replace this whole thing. And I was kind of, even when I bought the whole panel, thinking, well, maybe I'll just section pieces out of it and, and do little bits here and there. But no, I think I'm going to replace the entire thing. So after we do our floor, after we get the inner sill, inner rocker, and outer rocker on, we get this matching that side, and maybe even go back and clean some of our welds up there. We'll migrate our way to the back. And we've already got our quarter panel piece, which I'll overlay here so you can see it. But we do have that ready to go. The uh, reason I was looking like this, all these pieces are bent over. So we're going to have to bend these and as we cut the spot welds to get, separate this piece. But if you look, most of this is rotted out anyway. Even over here in our valance, we've got a little bit of damage there. The rest of it, pretty simple spot welds. As long as I'm careful and don't damage this piece, because this piece is in, well, it's in very good shape aside from that. Then along the top, kind of the same. This is where the stainless steel trim goes and there's some spot welds there so we can probably separate this and remove this pretty easily obviously we have our spot welds inside the wheel well but it doesn't look like there's too much complex attachment points really the hardest would probably be this you know kind of bent over piece almost like you'd see on a door skin um, but like i said it's already rotted away anyway and we can see there's some damage behind this as well so when we get this cut there's going to be some inner work to do Let me go ahead and get the uh, new quarter panel, lay it on, show you the quality. So just to give you a really simple idea how nice it is compared to the other one, I'm just laying it on top. Obviously it's not lined up because it's the same size as the other one it lays on top of, so it's off-centered. As you can see, it's a really nice piece, came undamaged. So I'm pretty excited to uh, be ready to move this, move on to this piece and get it going. And like I said, I'm pretty sure our options are, well, I'm pretty sure what we're going to do is remove the old one and put this whole one on. What I was thinking before was maybe, yeah, just section pieces that I wanted and only put those on and butt weld everything. But honestly, it's going to be easier. It's going to be quicker to cut the original spot welds and put the whole piece on. So I'm excited about that. And I know it's super messy, but one thing we've done is try to give ourselves a little bit of a permanent work area here. I've always sort of stored the body in here. You've seen it in videos. And the whole idea was that I would be able to work on it here. A lot of times what I used to do is pull it out into the center, move stuff out, and work on it. But honestly, having it here is kind of nice. I've got my uh, one work table here with all my tools. It's super messy. Got the, the bench vise right here. Got power. Got the welder. Got the cheap little plasma cutter, which I don't know we featured in the YouTube video, but you've seen on our Instagram. And I've got my little work table, and of course over there is my angle grinder and everything. So pretty much every little tool I need, I can come out here, you know, late at night, do an hour or two after work, and uh, get a little bit done. And that's what I've done here. I'll do like a little section for an hour. Maybe that's all I get done that night, and I move on. So I'm hoping that's something that'll help. If I can kind of make this in its own spot, come out and work on it a little bit at a time, We'll make some progress. 
So that's kind of it. Um, I think I'm still gonna manage to make this like a 10 minute video, but I figured I'd at least update you on what we're working on. I kind of do post on Instagram, but I should keep stuff going on YouTube. So let me know. Um, you know, obviously I've got a lot of editing going on um, and I'm slow to do it, but editing takes a while. So do you like fully edited stuff or do you kind of want off the cuff, grab the camera and show you stuff and talk for 10 minutes? Let me know, because I could probably do this more often as I get stuff knocked out. I just got to make it a habit. So anyway, let me know. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll keep you updated with more stuff here on Vortex Garage.